There's different ways that we meditate, and I actually think it's the most powerful if you can learn to calm your mind in the chaos of life. So you've got someone flipping and you've got to protect them and you go in that zone. That's actually very powerful meditation. You know, it's easy to sit in a quiet room and shut your mind off. That's easy. Shut your mind off when there's chaos. That's the beauty of meditation. Welcome to Holy Chits. I'm your host, Christy Austin, here to remind you that you are whole. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. And chits is a Sanskrit word for pure consciousness. That's what we're all here for, right? To raise our consciousness together. So on today's show, we have a very special guest. I'm super excited to bring this guest on. If you were watching last week's episode, you heard my journey and what a huge impact acro yoga had on my healing journey. And today's guest is someone I trained with. He's probably the first person in my life that I felt comfortable enough to express myself with. So he's had a huge impact on my life. I'm super excited to welcome him. He is an expert acro yoga teacher and a yoga trainer. He's an amazing human being, and I absolutely adore him, even though he would constantly tell me, tighten up, noodle. <laughs> so here we have Victor. <laughs> Victor, tell us your last name so I don't screw it up. A uh, to gun day, T like a two gun day, yeah. To gun yeah, day, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for being here, Victor. I'm thank saying, you for thank having you. me. It's been like what five years or so since we've seen each other? It's been too uh, long. Yeah, was <laughs> it too long? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, a, I can't remember. It's like there's like before the pandemic and after the pandemic, and you know during the pandemic is like a blur. So yeah, it's all kind of crazy. All I know is that we need to. We have some really awesome acro yoga footage together. We need to recreate because it's been too much time. Too much time. Yeah, is- I'm I'm down for that. Totally yeah. down for that. Next time I'm in California, I'm coming to see you. All right, I'll hold so you Victor, to it. Victor, tell us how. Well, tell us what you do and how you got on this journey. Oh, well, uh, you know, I live in Los Angeles. I've been an actor out here for over, you know, 20 years. We're on currently on strike right now. Um, uh, yeah, and it, it's, you, you know, I, being in the entertainment industry, I've always wanted uh, just a hobby that had nothing to do with uh, the entertainment you know, industry at all, because it can be really stressful with the auditions and work and whatnot. And so the thing is, is I've always tried to look for um just you know activities or hobbies that like I can really kind of devote myself to and that would really kind of get me out of my head space um and yeah I I found I found acro and I just fell in love with it and I was hooked uh so yeah that's that that was probably like maybe nine years ago before that was dance class I'm a terrible dance person but you know, I would just be in class trying to pick up eight counts. And so, yeah, acro is just a lot better because, you know, it fit within my wheelhouse. Because I used to be, most people don't know this, but I used to be a cheerleader in high school. So I was used to being able to lift people in the air. So, yeah. So when I discovered acro, it, it just felt very natural and very comfortable. So you've always been a base. If you were a cheerleader in high school, you've always been that. Yes. Yeah base for yeah i've always been a base i've always been a base yeah have zero desire in flying (laughs) (laughs) so you've always been uh great at communication skills then because one thing i learned about acro what helped me with my communication skills is that you really have to communicate otherwise you're falling all over each other right so that's a skill that's like embedded in you yeah, I mean, the, well, thank you. I mean, the thing, the thing that's really special about acro, right, is 
it's it's this partnership, right? Mm -hmm. Built on trust and communication because what it is is just it's two people. I say this all the time. It's two people, you know, getting together to try to to create something bigger than themselves, right? And so there's no I am doing all this or you're doing all this. We're doing this skill together. And it's just a fun exploration um, where you just communicate. And I, I, I got to tell you, like, you know, I started like a private practice maybe six, seven years ago. And I can instantly tell, like when I have couples, right, that reach out to me, I can instantly tell, oh, okay, this is the dynamic in their relationship at home. And it's really wonderful because the way they're able to communicate and speak to one another and problem solve and take accountability uh, versus those who don't. And and Acro, I'm telling you, it is the best. It is the best indicator of that. Oh yeah, it'll it'll show you all of your where your weaknesses are in a relationship. That's for sure, and it'll force you to work on those issues. So yes, definitely. I see that. I feel that. Um, your you mentioned that you were into dance also. So no more five, six, seven, eight, or are you yes. doing those five, six, seven, eight in your head as you're doing the acro moves? <laughs> Is that like yeah? I mean, <laughs> you know, one thing that I you know one thing that I I, I, I pride myself in. So I, when I started my account, you know, uh, the plug, uh, the acro machine, right? When I started that account, I. I wanted it to be very different than what was currently out there in the world of, you know, acro yoga with the, with the machines and the flows. And so I was probably one of the first people to really set it to music, to choreographic in a way to where you would hit certain uh, uh, moves on certain beats, as opposed to just kind of melodically going through things. Right. right. And so, that that kind of set me apart from most people you know in the community because yeah i did have a dance background and this is also too you got to remember you know instagram when they didn't allow music right and it was very hard like before the reels thing right it was very very hard to like use music but i i had ways to you know get around it and so it was a real joy to be able to put these like these flows. Yes. That's one thing that I love the most about doing acro with you was that it was a dance. Cause I, my history is dance also before I got into yoga, I was a dance instructor. So like making you made a routine out of it rather than just like, okay, try to, you know, get this pose or get that pose it. I like how you created a dance, you know, it's, it's well, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 So it's a lot of fun there. What, how has acro helped you in life to like, has it healed you in any way? Cause I like, for me, it's like a huge part of my healing journey. Yeah. Um, you know, I went through, you know, year, maybe like, I guess we're going on like maybe 15 years ago, I went through a really personal thing and I, I was depressed for years and, um, Right as the time I kind of started coming out of my depression and trying to find myself, I discovered acro. And or before that, I discovered yoga, right? And um, that was really helpful, just being kind of a part of, you know, a community at a studio that I was at that was just really inviting and really... Uh, uh, you know, just endearing. But then when I discovered Acro, what was, it gave me this, it gave me, I loved the, the idea of just the meditation of it, right? So, you know, most people, when they view, most people's concept of like meditation is very different, right? They just think it's like you close your eyes and you sit still, but meditation can take, you know, several forms, right? As you, you know, and um, for me, it was a meditative state, right? It was, it was when, when I'm in this zone of flying, like, cause you charged me with 
protecting your life, right? Uh, in the air, all I'm thinking about, or all I'm, I'm just in this zone of just making sure everything hits on its cue. You're safe. Uh, we're able to accomplish whatever we it is we set out to do. And so, yeah, for me, it really helped me focus more. Mm. Yeah, it really helped me focus more. And also, too, just although I, I, at times I felt like an outsider, you know, in the kind of already established community of what, act, you know, a lot of people who who came into Agro, I found, you know, people like yourself um, and uh, found a community around the world, got to travel. That's been amazing. That's been so fun is just being able to travel, go to certain parts of the world that I've always dreamed about going to. And uh, yeah, that really, that really, really helps in, in just making the full transition, I guess I could say, out of like this like depressive state I was in like a decade. Yeah, I, I, I agree with the the meditative state because everybody tells me, oh, I can't meditate. I can't calm my mind. And I'm like, everyone meditates in their own way. Do you like yeah. drives? Because sometimes when you go for a long drive, that's like a medita med meditative state. It, it is, yeah. So yes, definitely there's different ways that we meditate. And I actually think it's the most powerful if you can learn to calm your mind in the chaos of life. So you've got someone flipping and you've got to protect them and you go in that zone. And that's actually a very powerful meditation. It's, you don't, you know, it's easy to sit in a quiet room and shut your mind off. That's easy. Shut your mind off when there's chaos. That's, that's the beauty of meditation. So I love the fact that you pulled that in to the conversation and said, it's a meditative state that you go into when you're doing acro yoga. I, I love that. You know, it really is. It really is. It's like just, and there's nothing like it. And, 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 and the and the thing for me, because I'd always heard about athletes or musicians or, you know, these people that when they're in the zone, I never knew exactly what that meant when, right, when they would talk about being in this, this zone and this zone could last for years, right? Mm -hmm. When I got into Acro, I understood what that meant. Believing Before Seeing, a new book by Candace Barr teaching you how to believe into existence available now for pre-order the zone it's a yeah. beautiful, it's beautiful place to be isn't it yeah yes right. so. so what is victor doing now what is your uh path because i know i've taken your workshops what what are you doing you said you're traveling what are you all involved in right now as far as acro how's how has it expanded i've taken i've taken a step back uh, creatively just because there's you know so from a visual standpoint right I've taken a step back because I have ideas percolating about how I want to present it visually right mm -hmm. but uh, what I haven't done is um, taken a step back entirely where right now I'm just more focused on just creating a sense of community and, and, and being a, a cheerleader for the new people who come every Sunday. So I'm spending a lot more of my time just like spotting individuals, helping out. Uh, you know, I'm known for changing the dynamic of what we call OMB, right? Original Muscle Beach, where mm -hmm. uh, I wanted this really fun party atmosphere. So I um, I got sponsored by a speaker company called Soundbox, and they 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 gave me these big giant speakers and nice. to play music and just turn it into the party and just really just be just be a person who facilitates fun play. while you're watching these adults play and use their bodies uh, to to just make art, you know, and so like that's. That's what I've been more focused on for over the, like, the past two years or so. That's awesome. I love that because the first time I went to Muscle, I've been to Muscle Beach. The first time I went to Muscle Beach with you, 
this is like totally different. A bunch of acro yogis, people flip in and they're just doing crazy stuff. There's music. You had your speaker out. I think that yeah, was- Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was out and you had music playing. So I, I can already have a sense of what you created. Like I already kind of know, I'm sure you've taken it a level above and beyond, but it was so fun. I remember going there and my heart was so open. I was like, yes, these are my people. Like this is, this is like, you have such a feeling of community and love in the atmosphere when you're there. So that's awesome that you're creating that. And I like the fact that, you know, you've taken a step back, but I, I feel like it's more for, um, to help guide people on their journey. So help the husbands learn how to become that sturdy, strong, stable base that their wife needs. You yeah, know, yeah. you know, I know you help me. You're always telling me, tight, tighten it up, Chris, or tighten it up. But you know, but so for the record, for the record, for the record, once you got that cue, you were great. You tightened <laughs> up. up. Hey, you know I what I mean? Sometimes you I'm know. like, okay. And you're, yeah, okay. you're, you're above average. You're above average. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realize though, being a bass myself, it's really hard to hold someone up in the air that's like that's like this, you know. Loose, you yeah. <laughs> when you're tight, you're light. That's yep, the key. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So you've got that going on at the Muscle Beach. You are you still doing your trainings? You're like one-on-one -on -one trainings or any? Yeah, workshops? yeah. I'm still doing those all the time. Yeah, still doing those. Open. So you're open yeah. for people to contact you, get some one-on-one -on -one time in with you. Yes, all the time. Yeah, so I'm always, yeah, I'm always doing that. On average, I do about maybe 200 privates a year. So yeah, I've always been wow. doing that. Okay. Um, uh, and then yeah, so that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so doing that. So that's just been really fun. Okay. Because to me, it's not like a full-time job. It's just a really fun hobby that kind of turned into like something bigger than a hobby, but mm -hmm. I still treat it as a hobby. Does it make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You treat it like a hobby, but it's more. Yeah. Yeah. More than that. Well, I see it as like, when I think of Victor, I know you do a bunch of other stuff, but that's like, Victor is my acro yoga guru. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, That's thank the, you. The master of acro yoga when it comes to communication and being a stable base and being that partner that you really feel safe to express yourself around. So that's what I really just want to have you on here to thank you for being that person for me. Because in, at that time in my life, I felt for pretty much my whole life, like I couldn't really speak. Like I couldn't express myself. No one understood me. So I had such weight on my chest. I felt like I had hands around my throat. Like I couldn't talk. And you were like, talk to me, Christy. Tell me how you're feeling. Talk to me. You know, I've got, I've even got my acro yoga t-shirt on. Be calm and acro uh, yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great shirt. It's a great shirt. So, you know, but that's what you re represent to me is that openness of communication with your partner and really being able to express yourself right now. I wouldn't be able to be on this podcast if it weren't for your help and you access to myself. So thank you. I'm so grateful for you. Well, I appreciate you saying that, you know, and, and one thing that also, one of my, one of my goals too, when I, when I, when I got into ACRO was, I wanted to show flyers that it was possible to fly even if you weren't a hundred pounds, right? And so what did what I when I first got in to Acro, I saw that there was this real need for bases who were stronger and can be able to support what is America's average woman, right? Or flyer, because I mean, I, I don't want to, I, I say flyer as opposed to saying woman, because, you know, men can be flyers too, but you get my point, right? And for me, I think that's also kind of been one of my greatest joys is is just really seeing, and you, you, you know, regular everyday flyers that, you know, aren't these, you know, tiny 86 pound, 
you know, ex gymnast and some guy is flipping them around or doing standing acro with them. And they're looking really cool because it's like, they have this, you know, to me, my focus has always been like, no, like there's a whole world of, you know, individuals out there that have the ability to be able to do this. And to me, that's way more joyful and it's always been way more joyful than to come up with the coolest skill that no one can do. Because, I mean, if I need to flex my ego, I will bust <laughs> out some skills on some people just to kind of remind them. But that's never been my focus, focus. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm glad that you brought that up because uh, I think a lot of people see those 80 pound women that are being flung around and they're like, oh, I could never do that. I'm not 80 exactly, pounds. Exactly, exactly. I, never do that. I get people all the time. I'm like, I am definitely, Victor knows I am not 80 pounds. And that's one thing I think I told you when you reached out to me, I was like, do you know how much I weigh? And you're like, I got you. And I was like, I'm I'm a big girl. I can't flip like that. Because you were telling me the routine and you wanted to flip me. I was like, I can't flip. I've done acro yoga. I had taken acro yoga workshops and teacher trainings. And I was like, I've never done the flippy things before. I was like, I can't know that I can't flip. I'm too heavy for that. And you're like, I got you. I'm like, and if you remember <laughs> too, like I distinctively remember after we posted you know, with you, just the, there were so many people that reached out. They're like, oh, because you're such an inspiration to so many people, right? And so for people to see you physically do this, really let a lot of women know like, oh, wow, this is possible. So just you being brave enough to trust me to be able to excel, to tighten up when you needed to tighten up, right? Uh, yeah, you, you, you really, really sparked uh, a lot of people out there around the world to in, with the belief that they could do it too. Yes, so, and it's all in our head, right? Whether we can or we can't is correct. So it's getting over the negative mind that tells us we can't do something. And you definitely took that above and beyond for me. You're like, yes, you can girl. Come on. I'm going to flip you. I'm like, yeah. do you know how much I weigh? <laughs> I was, I was light so work girl. Nervous. You're good. <laughs> and you were just like, you, <laughs> you came into it so confident. Like it wasn't even a concern of yours. And I'm like, maybe he doesn't see how big I am. I'm like, have you not seen, like, I've got a big booty. You're not big. Like, yeah, but yeah, to- no. You try to put your feet there, they might just like wiggle right off. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I like the fact that you um brought that. Do you know you it doesn't matter what size you are? I mean, I've based you before. I didn't do that great of a job, and I definitely didn't flip you. Well, I don't like flying, I so you. we're fine with that. <laughs> I <can lift> <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. I I when I fly, I'm like, ugh, no, I'm never gonna fly. <laughs> I'll stick to <laughs> laying on my back and facing. <laughs> That's not your comfort zone, huh? But I I like the fact that you brought awareness to that. Like, you know, together, together we did. But you gave me the confidence, like, yeah, we can do this. We can do this. I got you. Don't be insecure. And I was like, okay, sure. I'm going to trust you. You're going to clap me. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This big booty and all, go ahead and flip it. <laughs> <laughs> that so, might become a meme. <laughs> the big booty, flip the big booty. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, Victor, we're about out of time here. So why don't you plug in all your social media accounts? If you have a website, we'll also put it on the bottom of the video so people can click Yeah, on sure, it. for sure, for sure. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, if you guys want to, you know, check out what I do or you want to, uh, reach out, I'm, uh, the acro machine on Instagram and on TikTok. Awesome. Thank you, Victor, for being such a big part of my journey. I love you. I adore you. Keep being amazing and awesome. And hopefully we will get together soon and recreate one of our videos. I would love that. And thank you again for having me. It really, it's really an honor. Thank you, Victor.